Now this next example will be really useful for someone like a student or anybody living in very small accommodation. You've really got a TV in the room but you haven't really got room for a desktop computer but yet you like the idea of having a full size keyboard or a separate mouse. Now obviously what I'm showing you now you can do with a laptop as well. The reason why it's extra good with the GPD Pocket is purely because of the size of it. So all day long you can bring this out to your lectures and you can type up your notes as you go along or do whatever you need to do. Then when you come home if you want to use it as a desktop PC you can do it by just plugging in one cable and this multi-port adapter will do all the connecting up for you. So because this has got a USB-C, all you need to do is get a USB-C multi-port adapter. This adapter comes with a USB port, an HDMI port and a power in, another USB-C to provide power into it. So we will be able to charge up the device while using it, while connected up to the TV and connected up to your keyboard, you can connect up a printer, I've got a wired ethernet cable and I've also got a little DVD player there as well. So this is all via the one adapter. So now, pretend you've come back from lectures and you want to print out your notes or you want to do some more work but you want to use the big screen up there. So what we need to do is we need to take it off TV and put it to, in this case, HDMI 3 because that's where I've got this black HDMI cable going into. So if I go to source and then if I go up to PC there, which is HDMI 3, it's now going to look for an input in that HDMI 3. So all we need to do is turn on the GPD pocket and then with this USB-C adapter here we just need to plug it into the USB-C port at the side like so and now what it will do is it will make a few noises and it should appear on the TV up there and if you have a look now we've got it duplicated from there up to there and now if I get my keyboard you should be able to see on the cursor down here whenever I move here it goes to here and also up there as well and now if you have a look down here you can see the battery charging if I click on it you will see there that it is charging and if you look next to it there where the Wi-Fi symbol normally is you can see that it is connected to Ethernet because we've got a little Ethernet adapter plugged in here and also we've got a little DVD drive here so if you want to play your older fashioned disc DVDs or if you wanted to save something onto a disc you can do that. So now you can plug your GPD pocket into the TV in your room and use it as a full size desktop and do what you would normally do on your PC which is a useful feature especially when you only have to plug one cable in. So at the moment this is a complete mess but what you would do is you would hide this all out of the way and you would just have one cable coming out here and then you would just plug that into here and then you can have your keyboard nice and neatly on your desk. So that's how you can make use of your TV rather than having to have a separate monitor and a separate space for a desktop PC. And then when you're done you just unplug it, it goes off the TV there, obviously to put it back onto TV you will have to go to source and go back to TV and then you can bring this away with you back to your lectures again or wherever you want to take it. Okay, so I've got my main desktop TV here and I'm going to use TeamViewer to control this main home PC on the GPD Pocket. So here we have the GPD Pocket, but as you can see I'm actually accessing my main PC from next door. So that's the same screen that you've seen a few seconds ago. So if I was to go to the GPD screen, you can see it's this one here. But then if I go down to TeamViewer down here, it will bring up my desktop PC. So I can access anything from my desktop PC on here. So you can do this via Wi-Fi, via an Ethernet connection, or what I'm doing here is I'm actually using a mobile hotspot. So if you have a look here, this is my Vodafone, and I've got my hotspot connected up there. And if I go to here, it's using the Wi-Fi, but it's using the Wi-Fi from the hotspot. So if I go down to that icon down there, you will see it says VFD. 900 internet access. So the reason I'm doing it via the hotspot is because it's a realistic example of using this in a different part of the world or a different part of the country. So for example, you're working away from home and you want to use your PC at home, but obviously you can't get to it. Well, what you can do is set up TeamViewer to allow remote access into it, and then you can just use your GPD pocket to access 
via Team Player your home PC. But yes, you can use your mobile phone for Team Viewer and it works well, but when you have the keyboard here and everything laid out like a mini computer, it works much better. So, if I was to go to here, you can see that I've got access to everything on the main PC. Now it's a little bit glitchy because remember I'm using a mobile connection and my mobile connection here, although it's 4G, it isn't full. I've got about half a signal. So obviously the better the connection, the better it's gonna be. If you're just using this at home or if you're using it on a strong Wi-Fi signal or an ethernet signal, then it's gonna work a lot better. But I just wanted to show you the mobile hotspot working because if you were working away from home, in a hotel somewhere, if you're on holiday, most likely you're gonna be using the mobile hotspot. So let me just play a video. So this is one of my YouTube videos, but this isn't via YouTube. This is via the Movie Maker before I put it on YouTube. So what you find is sometimes when the connection's bad, the audio might go slightly out of sync with the actual picture. But this now is playing on my main PC and it's streaming it to the GPD pocket via TeamViewer. There we go. That's it and you can use the touch screen or you can use the keyboard as well. So as you can see, TeamView is a good product, especially when you use it on something like the GPD Pocket, and it can come in useful in many situations. We're going to do a quick test to see how long it takes to boot up and go onto a web page. So I'm going to start it now. I'll be putting my password in off camera. There we go. So it took just over one minute, a minute and two seconds. But that's not bad. So as you can see, it's pretty quick to boot up and get going. Now, when it comes to Wi-Fi, unfortunately the GPD Pocket definitely isn't as fast as other devices. So I've taken speed tests, numerous speed tests from this location here. So we're all the same distance away from the router or router as you know it in the rest of the world. And you can noticeably see a difference on the GPD pocket. Also when I'm downloading something, I can physically notice that it's a little bit slower than other devices. So if you look at this mobile cell phone here, I've got approximately 50 megabits per second download and five megabits per second upload. Yet on the GPD Pocket, I've only got 31 megabits per second download and five megabits per second upload. And on this full-size laptop over here, I've got 74 megabits per second download and five megabits per second upload. So you can see I'm actually getting less than half, quite a bit less than half, the speed of the full-size laptop. So I'm not sure if this metal casing is somehow interfering with the signal. And it doesn't matter whether I go on a 2.4 gigahertz channel or the 5 gigahertz channel. So at the moment, these are all connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network. And you can see the difference. And it isn't just a one-off test. I can do this test over and over again. And this will always be half the speed of the laptop here. So that's something to bear in mind if you're interested in getting a GPD pocket. Now because the GPD Pocket has Bluetooth built into it, it makes it really easy to connect up external Bluetooth speakers. So if you want better sound quality than this can provide, because we're only dealing with a very small speaker here, then connect up a Bluetooth speaker and then when you're playing Spotify or playing your music from here, it will sound much better. So if you have a look here, if I go down to show you the Bluetooth icon, you can see there it says Pulse X, which is the name of this Bluetooth speaker, so I've got it already connected up. And now if I go into Spotify and play 
this song here. Instead of coming through here, it's coming through the speaker here. There you go, you see? That's how to get better sound quality out of the GPD pocket.